Explanation of how to pump energy from the ground, Lille and Barbosa patent. As is well known in the art, the return of the electric current from a load returns to the generating source and occurs through the phase and the circuit neutral. The first improvement relates to a new destination of the return of the electric current used by the external loads connected to the equipment object of the present invention. Consisting of the connection of the negative pole of the external loads to the grounding loop in any extension of the interconnecting conductor, 5. Of the equipment with the grounding loop. This connection directs the return of energy consumed by external loads to the grounding loop. As a new and advantageous technical effect, an electromagnetic dipole appears in the equipment's interconnecting conductor, 5, with the grounding loop, which extends to the phase conductor of the equipment's power supply. Thus, the electric current returns through the conducting member, 5, to the equipment power supply through your feeding phase, S. Thus, active energy corresponding to the same power consumed by the external loads connected to the equipment object of the present invention is injected into the power grid. This active energy may be used to supply other loads connected to the equipment's power supply. Another advantageous new technical effect is the fact that the electrical energy generated by the equipment object of the present invention for external load supply does not return to the equipment's power supply and is thus not measured by the energy consumption meters. Said power supply of the equipment, being measured by such meters only the energy consumed by the equipment object of the present invention during its operation, because the electric current of the external loads returns to the generating source, in this case to the electromagnetic field generated in the equipment into the ground, which is the conducting member, 5. Another improvement concerns three constructive variants in the connections between the conductive member, 5, and the closed loop conductive element itself, 4, for polarization of the latter, which can be done in the following ways, using only direct ground, using direct neutral and induction ground, and using direct neutral and ground. In the connection for polarization using direct ground only, the conductive member, 5, is connected to the closed lift conductive element itself, 4, which feeds the negative pole of the external loads. The positive pole of the external loads is fed with the phase. In connection with polarization using direct neutral and induction ground, only the neutral is connected directly to the conductive element in the closed loop itself, 4, the ground, the conductive member, 5, being inductively connected to the element. Closed loop conductor itself, 4. The negative pole of the external loads is fed by the conductive member, 5. The positive pole of the external loads is fed with the phase. Connection for polarization using direct neutral and ground occurs with the closed loop conductor element itself, 4. Connected to ground and neutral, which feeds the negative pole of external loads. The positive pole of the loads is fed with the phase. While the present invention has been described concerning the preferred embodiments and practical applications thereof, it is apparent to those skilled in the art that a variety of types, shapes, models, genres, modifications, and changes may be made or used without departing from the invention. Scope of the present invention which is intended to be defined by the appended claims. It will be appreciated that each of the elements described above, or two or more together may also find a useful application in other types of equipment and effects that differ from the type described above.